it's Dragon here, and today we are playing some Life is Strange. You guys probably thought I was done. No. I actually, um, was gonna record this yesterday, but I decided today because everyone's at school, and, you know, the person I usually hang out with is going to New York, like, in the morning I usually hang out with before she goes to work. Shout out to Brookie, I'm talking to you, if you ever watch this video, but... As you guys know, here's like some teeny little updates and stuff. Summer Games has now began. Begin. And if you guys thought that was like a lying like trailer thing, because every summer I do a trailer. And that summer trailer for the movies and stuff hasn't come out yet. And that will be coming out in a cup. That will come out either next week. But it's usually like a tradition on my channel. I've had the channel for two years. I always miss my happy birthday to my channel because... I just for I just miss it but hopefully I won't miss it next year even though that's like far from now but summer games has now began begun I don't know begin began begin I don't sorry I'm rambling too much but it has started so I will be doing some video recordings and if I say point goes to this person for getting more kills this point goes to this person because they won the match it's because it's already like beginning so without further ado let's go ahead and get started now we did play episode one we finished it so if you guys are not updated yet let me update you unless you want to pause the video click out of it and go to the videos before so last episode we were basically we found out we have rewinding powers we met up with chloe again ironically or like wow that's so consequently and then we took a picture of the butterfly the butterfly has the same hair color as chloe's hair or at least similar and we snitched on nathan but you know we got him in trouble but i don't think the principal really listened to us because they probably think we're crazy but that's all oh yeah also we stood up for chloe when her dad yelled at her and um we found out that the, um, hold on, let me think. The school, let's think, what's his face? Security guard, I think that's what it is, or surveillance. Security guard is Chloe's dad. So, now, without further ado, let's hop into episode two. I love the loading screen because it has like a, a camera right there in the corner and it just keeps flashing. So, yeah. Now, I, w I did have a broadcast going on that was like one minute long, but then I realized that it didn't download by itself, so we had to go manually download it. So, yeah. And we were going to be doing a Rocket League tournament yesterday for the Summer Games, but... I came home late from an eye doctor. Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Don't insult me, Max. Go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. I didn't have to recap it for you guys because I already did that. So, Life is Stretch is a story-based game that features players' choice that consequences in your game and all actions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Okay. I know later in the episode I'm going to have to make a super strong decision and it's gonna like 
I need to make it right. So if I like go out, not talk, it's probably because I looked it up on Google because I really want it to work out. You'll find out later. Square Enix. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not getting copyrighted today. We're not getting copyrighted today. That's a no-go. I'll have the music right here. You know what? Audio. Let's bring it up just... A little bit. Like right there. So it's not complete silence. Because I think it's really creepy when it's complete silence. Life is Strange, episode 2, out of time. Max, call failed. Let's get up. It's no time to lay around. All right. Good morning. No of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Okay, so hopefully you guys read through that because even with all this crazy shit fast. going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like, I could rewind for days and read all of these. Books. Oh, we just cut her out. I didn't Will mean I really to press find it. Any insight into my power? I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. And you guys could pause it. Um. You guys could pause it if you guys want to read that because that's a lot of read. I thought I would just load like a sticky note at a time. If so, I would have read that. Um, we're not going to water the plant too much because last time it did, it was like you, this action is going to have a consequence to it. To get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Mystic en enchantment cards, 159 cards. Oh, really is legit 159 i thought it missed one cartier bresson i know hamilton the, the greatest. greatest the max caulfield photo memorial wall that's actually a really nice wall like i wish i had one in my room a lot of people in my school have like instant like they have polaroids i think that's how you say all over their wall in the room i'm like now I have oh, to wonder Lord. if any of these films are based on a true story. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Oh. Go Thunderbird. You said that first episode. Not gonna play guitar. Our supplies. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? <laughs> Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Oh. Poor thing. So this is our schedule. Monday, world history, algebra, math lab. I have math lab too because I suck at math. Um, Unless that's just like in a legit math. Okay. Language of photography. Tuesday, language of photography, the language, because apparently that's different. Science lab, media literature, lit. Heresy. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. Wednesday, world history, algebra again, photo, lab, 
life drawing thursday the art of science media lab language of photography and friday physical physical education music lab and cultural anthropology i like how she has it organized i think i would do that do not forget i need those papers before tonight like now thanks sherry yeah of course victoria i'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon i am so on it consider it done why not you dropping Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. The marks of Satan. Ain't nobody ran down my girl Kate's door. I don't care if my actions have consequences. They better be good consequences. I don't even care if they're bad either. Live. Don't be a zombie. Social media has a time and place. Don't let your life flash by. A message from the Clear Head Foundation. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. All right. Oh, okay. Um, this is a girls' dorm. Oh, okay. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I picked them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros. You. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. Me too. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. All right. Dana's pretty cool. I really like Dana. Like, he's been growing on me since day. You know what? You know what, Brooke? Go screw yourself. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Um, that's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? What about Zachary? What about Victoria? I got a lot of questions to ask here. Um, they're all good. Okay, let's see. Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I oh, thought we were so saying, much are you sure about that video? Action. You have a good heart, Max, and I won't watch Kate's video anymore or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. You know what, Brooke? You can go freaking KYS. I'm not talking to you because you're just a puta. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. Okay, we already read this in the first episode, so. Let's go talk to Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. It's a good consequence. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max. Do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later.
She's such like a little gentle butterfly. You look so sad. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh. oh I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Hey, I was being nice to you yesterday. You could go suck my ass like I was being so nice to you yesterday she's a weirdo with that dumb camera and you're a hoe I with hate that bangs. I'm so quirky crap anyway let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action you are such an evil biatch I love it biatch what the heck is that <laughs> Oh, don't worry. That link won't stay up there too long. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Even Is if I can stop superior? one person from watching it, it's worth it. You know, I don't care if actions have consequences. Whatever. Oh, a tampon dispenser. That's fun. Otter power? I'm so not there. Can otters swim? Tryouts. Otter power. Can you swim to success? September 6th, 8th through 8th, 2 p.m. Join one of the top high school swim teams in the nation. Okay, now I'm really confused. Are we in college or are we in high school? I think we're in high school, but a boarding school. Because, like, we're in dorms, which confused me. I'm like, we're definitely in high school. But Rachel's a whore. I don't think so. Out of order. They like to vandalize everything in this school. That's why people will be bullying Hannah Baker's daily. And I'm not like joking around, I'm being like dead serious. People would do that because there's like markings all over the wall and like Hannah's mom talks about this in like one of the episodes. Wow. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Ah, thanks, Nathan. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. And nothing here. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. So let's Be move gone, this cup out of the way. Soft drink. Oh, it just moves it a little bit. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. 
Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Yeah, we're in the same outfit again, aren't we? Now I can finally take this oh, just back to, to Kate sure. before I'm late. As we have if a dude. I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. For you? I don't know why I did that. Keep your mouth shut about everything. I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh, Thanks, shit. Nathan. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Oh, no. Um, uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Of course hey, I do. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well... He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. Does this sound like you? I'm not gonna blame anything on her because she's like in a hard situation. And like when you go to a party, you get carried away, especially like when you're a teen. And that's coming from me because I feel like, so does it sound like you? That's awful. That's awful. So. How did that happen? <clears throat> it's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the yeah. opposite of nice. <laughs> what next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I, I thought know. it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Hmm. This is a bad decision, like... And, because we're, like, basically kind of being rude when we, I feel like we're being rude when we say that, like, we're, be, okay. I think we can rewind it, too, so we're gonna put, we're not gonna call, are you sure, because it's kind of seemed like, she's like, and? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Oof. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He hurt you? 
Should I go to the police? <gasps> oh, we're about to finesse lives. You know what? We can't go to the police yet because we're assuming so far. So look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. Oh. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral Yeah, which was the wrong one. Thanks, Max. Oh. You know what? I think we should make her feel happy. Now she feels really hopeless. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. No, she has a negative impact on saying we should call the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Uh, I don't think she liked that one either. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Okay, we actually gotta look for proof. Like, that's basically saying like, if someone did a crime or something, and um, we're just gonna assume that they did it. I think we need some evidence, or like murdered someone. Let's look for evidence because I know if you're you gonna hate that answer. Because like, what we said was the f the truth. Like, I don't want to get in trouble any more than I already am. Sorry, Kate. They have the most interesting, like, text. You know what, Brooke? Suck it! Go away! People are sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. I just want to explore if there were like some like secret evidence in there that we could use to our advantage. But we can't. You know what? Let's talk to Samuel. He's talking to the birds. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Oh, okay, okay, yo, chill. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Oh, okay. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say That's that Samuel so hasn't seen anything like that before. 
I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, you need to calm down with that. We run so weird. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting... Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Like, facts. Like, we're just gonna leave tools out there. Alright. Let's head over to Will's Diner. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with my with many lawyer and legal ramifications. You are not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope that I hope you're the last. Consider this your final polite warning. Yo, why are they all spamming me though? Why? Max, it's over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that I mean, we could have shut him down. Cool, I'll text you the info. What had an, what had an outcome? Warren. Wow, well, nothing. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. You're a real everyday hero. Even though you left me... An old friend. I bet you were glad. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking weak. I thought he keeps saying, you're freaking weak. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Oh, excuse you. Like, he was so rude when we shut him down. You need to calm down. Warren. Wow. Oh. By the way. Oh, yeah. You're a real. Even though you left. An old. I bet you. I busted. Weird fucking. Oh. Yes. I keep pressing exactly A. Exactly what. Well, that was. All right, we're out of here because he's being kind of rude when we said no, which is rude because we said no. But y'all need you need to calm down. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel.
damn pepper. Wow, there's more people on the bus than expected. Our, like, our high school, I think high school, is, like, so messed up to me because they're all treating Kate and, like, the principal doesn't know what he's doing. Where's the counselors, too? Like, we need counselors because someone's about to, like, like, they just need counselors at this school. I wish I lived in Seattle. It's so pretty to me. It's like such a calm city. That's like one of the four places I would like to live at. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Save our day. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay and the man-made drought in the bay. Global warming. Man, that smell of breakfast and this. Sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make the two whales my first home. <laughs> Joyce making rocket coffee and juicy burgers at a time. Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <laughs> Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or uh, else. What? <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. 
David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I have to go. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. All right. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Oh. I don't feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does well, Joyce you sound? Suck my ass. Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? How about let's never talk to you? Drool. Want everything. That looks really good. Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Two Wells Diner Fishing Awards. <coughs> Winners every month. White Stringham, caught by Dick Weber. Stillhead Trout, caught by Andy Barry. Chin Nook, Chin Nook, I think that's how you say it. Salmon, caught by Ra Rick Conrad. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. 
Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? <laughs> I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelet, bake... Belly and waffle. Okay, I've seen in everyone else's gameplay that they chose bacon. Well, omelet. And I want to be different. Just kidding. But waffles sound good right now? The last so good waffles. golden waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. <laughs> now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the... The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Two Wills Home Style Cooking. Welcome to Two Wills Diner. Home Style Eggos and Bacon. Five dollars. Wow, these prices are pretty high. And look at that Belgian waffle and fried fish. Eight dollars, but we got it for free because we're special like that. And you guys can pause if you want to read this, me, this menu. So. Hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I like the I like diners. I've never been to one in real life, but I, I love the vibes diners give. Before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> this is like fourth dimensional. Order ready. Nerd graffiti. No Warren what must have been here. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Oh, okay. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him oh. David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ooh. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? That's my stuff because I turn it on because your now stuff that sucks. That's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. 
Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Um... I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Because I think we should say I don't know first just to see what's in her pocket. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item okay. carefully and don't forget anything. Let me write this stuff down on a piece of paper because I know I'm going to forget. Um, well, the only thing I remember is like her panda keychain because. Alright, so panda keychain. And then what else? She has at least, let's do a count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sticks. I'm going to write sticks on my paper because I'm going to erase it later. And I want my parents to be like, you're going to eat cigarettes? Is that really? Yeah, that's seven. Okay. Let's do this. Quarter, 75 cents. And um, 80 cents, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. So 86 cents. I think... Let's put 86 cents on my piece of paper. And she has a warning ticket. And we gotta write the time down too, because I know it asks you that. Warning ticket. And the time is 10.34. And the date is 9. 21.13. And then out parking. Because I want to prove her wrong on the first try. We can get wrecked. On. Alright. We're done. So let me just rewind and let me prove you wrong real quick because I got everything down, everything down in my notes. Everybody get wrecked. Everybody get toasted. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It is Panda. A cute robot panda panda panda. Keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh gosh. And that's why we have it down because you were busted at 1034. 10 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! Oh, I thought she was, like, about to freak out! Like, you guys saw her face? You have powers! I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I could eat like a pig. I'm I've never heard the term, I'm hungry like a wolf. You have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. 
All right. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No big deal for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. All right, I think I got everything down. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Um, Trevor drops his glass. Trevor drops his glass and Justin makes fun of him. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly Oh no. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Pray. I pray. Oops. That is did so wrong. Did you break an- of course, I said the wrong name. Someone did drop a glass. I'm going to predict. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me. Oh no, I'm not gonna tell you one more, because I got it down. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. So now you believe me? That's the best song I've ever This is sure yet. the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So Did what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Or we shouldn't because we got everything down. I'm going to predict The trucker- So what happens next? The cop gets- Well, let's just see- Justin and Trevor- this is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I hope. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, way really? To go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the God for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. 
Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. No. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Well, you can give me a second. Start some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. You know, I don't care. Kate's really depressed right now, so suck it. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. I don't care. Because I Sucks know there's a Chloe deep outcome. Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, holla. And make sure you guys, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos, more Life is Strange gameplay. And if you want to see more, hit that like button. And if there's a specific game you want to see me play, make sure you guys comment it, comment it down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.